Are we going to see flying cars soon? Hello guys, it is EA Info here. If you are not familiar with our channel, here we discuss technology, interesting things, and life hacks for the improvement of our lives. In this video, we are going to discuss flying cars. We are going to look at its origin and answer these questions. How do they work, and are they going to be helpful? Origin Glenn Curtis, who is considered the inventor of the flying automobile, displayed the prototype of one in 1917. His 40-foot-long metal autoplane has three 40-foot-long wings, 12.2 meters. At the back of the vehicle, a four-bladed propeller was driven by the motor. The autoplane only ever made a few brief jumps, but it was never completely airborne. Consolidated Volti created a two-door automobile with an aircraft section that could be detached in the 1940s. With a one-hour flying time and a petrol economy of 45 miles, 72 kilometers, per gallon, the CONV aircar made its debut in 1947. When the automobile crashed on its third trip, marketing plans for it came to a stop. How do they work? Rotors dominate over wings in most flying automobiles. The airplane can take off vertically and land vertically thanks to these rotors. While tilt rotors increase efficiency in forward flight over longer distances, multi-rotors aid in minimizing hover flight noise. Electricity, gas or oil, or hybrid fuels can all be used to power flying vehicles. However, electricity is probably the fuel source that will be most practical in the future. The driver's input is split between front wheel steering and vehicle tilting, depending on the terrain and speed being employed. Flying speed would be between 0 and 60 miles per hour on the ground and between 31 and 112 miles per hour in the air. Are they going to be useful? However, depending on how you look at it, flying automobiles will have a big impact on how we travel, live, and work in the future. They will offer door-to-door -door service for both ground and air travel, therefore easing urban traffic congestion. It is interesting to note that they do not also occupy the high altitude that aviation traffic often uses for long-distance transport. The majority of flying vehicles will be electric-powered and quieter inside, thanks to design considerations. This will play a significant role in improving the comfort of the passenger's journey. The only big issue is that, if someone's flying car crashes or it just stops working, then a person may fall from a very high point in the sky, and we need to think about, how we are going to prevent those falls from being catastrophic, almost deadly. Leave a comment below about your thoughts on that. It seems like we are going to see those flying cars around 2040 because there are already prototypes that work perfectly and can fly. That is all for today. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please, subscribe to this channel and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with friends.